on the hot drive. I need to introduce this man because I have watched him and listened to him on radio. And as you heard before, I yeah. was flustered. So I was trying to <clears throat> gather myself together. It is Eddie Kimani. Like, I feel, yeah. Um, if you don't know Eddie Kimani, yeah. where do we begin? Um, where do we begin? Capital Effect, those days when he, I mean, that was, yeah. You know, everything. 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 It was TV, radio, TV, people. radio, yes. Anything. Eddie. You guys are being far too kind. <laughs> it is what it is, man. <laughs> it is what it is. And it's not Eddie or Kimani. It's, it's Eddie, Eddie Kimani. Kimani. Yeah. In fact, enough said. It should get to the point where we don't need to. Say, this is Eddie Kimani who has... No, no, no. It's Ulem just Sarah Eddie Kimani. Ulem <laughs> Ulem <Sarah TV. laughs> Welcome, man. Thank you. Good to be here. Good Thank to be here. Let you enjoy sana. Thanks for coming. You must have been the one who brought the rain. Um, because it wasn't... Didn't look like it was going to do anything this it morning. It opened up proper. And yeah. I guess uh, the prayers were all well received. Yeah. Seen some interesting pointers on social media. Yeah. Guys thanking Tanzania for releasing the rain. Right. <laughs> it was much awaited and it has come in like in its proper, yeah. proper, proper form. Yeah. yeah, it absolutely has. So, I mean, um, where do we begin with you? I guess the first place is like I was telling you off mic when. Um, you know, I said to someone here in the office, Eddie Kimani is coming. They said, oh, Eddie Kimani of Engage, KE. I mean, that really has become synonymous with you. Mm -hmm. So before we get into everything else, just like a quick summary of, of Eddie Kimani, what, what you've been living through and how you've overcome it. And then we can start to get into it a little bit more for those who have been living under a rock. <laughs> yeah, for those who've been li living under a rock, I happened to do a nine-minute session at Engage in uh, early this year, and uh, that's where everything just opened up with me sharing yeah. um, a bit of my life that not many people really knew about. Mm -hmm. And I was sort of successful enough in keeping it under wraps and mm -hmm. trying to think or believing that I can deal with it. Mm -hmm. And it's a phase or a chapter in everybody's life when you're going through dark times you do your best to hide it yeah. or you do your best not to make it a public you know you you want to deal with it you want to handle everything that you're going through especially when you're in the limelight yeah. yes now that yeah. adds another twist to it a spanner into the works yeah. and uh in a complicated to it mm. yeah but you see at that time you don't know that you're thinking you're dealing with your problems you're dealing with whatever you're going through you're dealing with the mistakes that you've done in life you're dealing with what you can deal with humanly possible but sometimes we end up putting ourselves in so much pressure mm -hmm. that we end up breaking down mm -hmm. so engage came at a time when uh, they they thought okay fine let's and in, let's invite eddie actually i was not supposed to be talking about my yeah. that side of my life i was supposed to have talked about something else yeah because you said it, it wasn't something that was public so when Engage called you, did they know you were going no, through this at didn't. the time or why did they, they call didn't. you? I just finished a nice run together with an amazing cast of the Tinga Tinga musical. Yes. The, the, the musical that we ran here at the Kenya National Theatre for a month. Then we were fortunate enough to take it to Broadway. Broadway, yeah, New York. New York, yes. So one of the um, organizers of Engage actually thought this would be a nice story to talk about um, that side of me something mm -hmm. that i've been doing for quite a while which was acting and in this case i was acting and dancing and singing in a, an amazing it musical. Is, it so is, yeah. that is what they approached me with yeah but um after a lot of um getting myself together and finding out is this really what i want to talk about is mm -hmm. this really what i want to share mm -hmm. anybody can go to new york right i believe so anybody can go on stage and sing and act yeah and in terms of if that's your passion but i thought i would not be honest enough to tell that story from my point of view so i i decided um why not just tell my story my real story which was me and the and uh, the, the theme was quite uh, profound for me it was titled when all is said and done mm -hmm. so that's what now connected everything <coughs> with me deciding you know what mm -hmm. It would be very selfish of you to be given such a platform and not share mm -hmm. your story. It might impact one or two people, it might change their lives, it might make them see also me as a mirror mm -hmm. of what they're going through their lives. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, fine, let me twist this and just 
share my story. It was a painful pinch, uh, pinch of salt to swallow because I had to make a decision to um, undress myself yeah. in the public. Yeah. And it's something that I would not normally do yeah. in normal circumstances. With that, I decided, you know what, let me tell my story. Did they know you were going to tell that yes, story? Yes, you know, okay. the good thing about Engage is that they prepare you. Yeah, okay. to, you're not just picked up from the okay. street and told, hey, we, we need to hear a story from you. Right. Mm -hmm. It's curated. Okay. You go through a session where they help you to structure your story. Mm -hmm. Just to be, you know, just yes. to be decent. Right. Yeah. Na kuna tu mic, mazi. Wata bonga. Wata bonga. But I went through the process. Right. They, they, they liked the idea that I wanted to tell my story. Mm -hmm. And that was that. And I went onto that stage and poured my soul out. Yeah. It was therapeutic. It was a load off my yeah. shoulder yeah. talking about uh, myself and my story and what I've been through. And for me, it was a revelation because as men, we rarely talk, we rarely open up. So it was also an opportunity for me to share mm. with like-minded men mm. who um, also attend, engage, and see if I could have an impact in also telling a story by, by I mean, hearing a story from a man yeah. and be honest and be brutal, brutal with myself mm -hmm. and open up about all the things that I'd gone through, mm. yeah. what I'd been going through. Yeah. Yes. If you stand out very briefly, perhaps for those when you want to watch your clip in cage, yeah. three things that you need to as stand out when you talk to you as when you look at stage up in cage. Uh, very briefly in terms of my Life story yeah. yes in terms of your story admitting that i failed yeah. who accept commonly make mistakes more mm. who accept and revealing that i failed my marriage admitting that i made um, wrong decisions about business admitting that i failed personally as a man as a father and those are the things that opened up um, um, in terms of who Eddie was, mm -hmm. because for a long time I'd, sh you know, yeah. just shut out mm -hmm. anybody knowing what right. I was yeah. going through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think also being an actor helped, because <clears throat> you mm -hmm. end up wearing masks, yes. mm -hmm. which is something that a lot of men are grappling with. Yeah. I know I've mentioned men a lot in this conversation, yeah. but yeah. it's a conversation that has to be spoken. It's a conversation that will help especially men, mm -hmm. to open up and deal mm. with the current issues that we are facing. Mm. And the society is harsh. Yeah. It's on men. very, very harsh on men right yeah. now. Mm. Yes. So I felt it would be a window <clears throat> to just help men to start engaging, start talking. And that's why I needed to come out and share what I've done and what I've done to be able to get back on some sort of a right track. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we'll talk about um, so those steps that you're taking, but yes. let's talk about the reaction. So you come out and you're very candid about um, a lot of these things that you've done. And often when you're telling your story, it doesn't always involve you. So you're talking of a failed marriage and there's your spouse in there. You're talking of failing your children. You know, as a father, there's your children in there. What is the re immediate reaction from your, from your immediate family? And then obviously from thousands of men who watch the video and now they reach out and say, my gosh, Eddie, yeah, mm. you know, mm. I get that, I'm like that, and maybe they want help. How did you deal with it? It must have been, like, did you tell your family you were going yes, to speak um, about it? Yes, number one, I'd like to thank my wife, yeah. Yambura, who has really <clears throat> been a strong woman, especially to, 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 <laughs> to, to, to accommodate me with yeah. my shortcomings and coming to terms with whatever I had done and failed to do. Mm -hmm. And forgiveness is one aspect that I really, um, I should say, is a very important thing when it comes to uh, marriage mm -hmm. and not taking it for granted. So for her, of course, she knew I was going to do it. She was the first person I told her, I'm going to do this, yeah. and I had her blessings. And how did she feel about that? Because, you know, how did she feel? Because, you it know, that's her life, easy. but... It was not easy. Yeah. I mean, but then again, we, we're working for a greater good here, yeah. more, mm -hmm. importantly, more yeah. importantly, for our family. Right. Me, her, and our two boys. And it was not a solution to just us and our marriage. It was mm -hmm. a platform, I say, that we'll use to share our story, and my story, more importantly, that we could be a reflection of what is happening out there, that would make people start thinking. Yeah that actually these things are happening. Mm -hmm. 
you know, that it's going on. Yeah. For my children, whom I'd also feel for quite a while, the young kids, the firstborn is uh, uh, just turning turned, uh, 15 this year, mm -hmm. the second one turned 7 this year. Mm -hmm. The second second one didn't really know much of what, what was happening right? because we had separated with my wife for almost three and a half years. Okay. First one knew what was going on. Okay. So the first thing I did as part of reconciliation with him also is to learn to love him again. Mm -hmm. yeah. To learn who he was. Mm -hmm. And sitting him down and letting him see that engaged video. We sat down together yeah. in the room. Yes. Together. I just called him aside and told him I have something I need to show you. And we sat. He watched and I apologized. The only thing that I really believe works when it comes to reconciliation is being honest with yourself mm -hmm. and honest with the person you're trying to reconcile with. In this case, of course, it was my wife. Mm -hmm. It was my son who was now clear uh, at an age where he understood what was going on, the friction, my absence. And so I thought for me, he would see it raw by watching that video and telling him, you know what, fine, I've gone out there and told about my story, but I want you also to see it, yeah, so yeah. that you see what my story and understand yeah. where I was. But of course, after the video, it was easier for me not to communicate to him and understand, to make him understand where I stand in my life right now, especially as a father to him. Mm -hmm. And that has been working so well. I can't say we're 100% there, but mm. We're, we're in a much more better place. You're not mm. where you were before. And the worst is in the past, I can tell you that. For my family, nice. me and my wife, That's wonderful. and myself as any human. Because nice. this cannot happen until you accept yeah. that you failed. And once you accept you failed, it's easier to pick yourself up again yeah. and actually put it mm. That's one thing we don't do. We beat ourselves up. We fail, we fall down. Mm. And we beat our What not to pick us up? To make a yeah. Yeah. And once you eliminate that aspect from your mind and accepting that you failed, it will be easy to deal with many other things that come on. Mm -hmm. yes. Ka wife, mm. aja kupatia blessings a kuambie endo bonge story hapo inzi. Na kama mwenye pia unge gantha yo kare jusebe, nimepewa hii podium, <laughs> unge unge leo stories a London, ama ni New York. <laughs> kama unge bonga kuhusu, hizo mm. vitu me go through, mm. the tribulation, the trials, the failures, mm. na kujiri collect. What do you think says inge kwe me kuhafanya? I would not have sober. I don't think I would still be grappling with my recovery mm -hmm. from the things that I did. And one thing I've come to embrace now as a human being is that the more we talk, the more we share, the more we open up about, about the things we go through in life, the more we are able to deal with them. I'm not saying you'll get immediate solutions when you start talking about yeah. mm. but it works as part and parcel of you trying to recover and getting back on your feet. And it's not only marriage. See, you can't be a good person. It's just being honest with every aspect about your life. Job, your relationship with your fellow yeah. men, with your fellow uh, you know, workmates and colleagues with the, with the other agenda mm -hmm. in relationship with women. Mm -hmm. Honesty with yourself is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And being able to open and face your challenges face, face to face. And, mm -hmm. and that's hard because it's hard. We, we lie even to ourselves. But just, and we, we put little barriers you know, even in ourselves, is, right? Well, the trick is this. Once you learn and embrace that, especially for men, you know, being weak is normal. Mm -hmm. It's good to be weak. To make a real society in a Tongia, strong, strong. Ebana, Jikaze Kipanga soap. But no one, Pongia Sababa, Atasiki Panga soap. Jikaze Kidainamo. You find situations where wow. you want to share something with your fellow brother, mm -hmm. but you can't because you think they will. Men don't do that. Yeah. 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 But that's what society has told us. Yeah. Men don't cry, mm -hmm. men don't show emotions. Men so, don't fail. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You never fail. And you the go out there, do whatever, but you don't fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you are trying to be a battle with the 10, mm -hmm. 20 years ago as you are growing up. Mm -hmm. The dynamics of them, the dynamics now mm -hmm. are so different. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's hard for me to say this, but <clears throat> men should understand that women are not to blame because they are rising up. Mm -hmm. They are rising up. But men should not feel that they are being weak because women are rising up. So can I look at differences? I've mm -hmm. just yeah. taken another tangent, but yeah. Yeah. those are some of the things that are really making men 
really losing focus. Uh -huh. And we'll come to that. Yeah. Because that's also another, that's, another that's whole, a whole other, it is. Yeah. So, the reaction of people. Reaction of so people. So now there's people you've worked with, people yes. you've, you've known, like, so this is outside your family, yes. even strangers who've now interacted with the video. Mm. What was it? Was it an outpouring of messages to the point you think, okay, wait, 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 hang on, you know, this was supposed to be self-therapeutic and yes, mm. you're helping people, but yeah. what was that response like? At the event itself, engaged, it was amazing because yeah. you're getting immediate reactions. Yes. Yeah. And that's a good thing. I love stage. I love stage. I love acting on stage. It's good because you get immediate reactions. Yeah. When you do video, you have to wait now to start seeing comments. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, but yeah. it's, it's there. Yeah. It's right there. It's mm -hmm. tangible. Uh -huh. Now come to social media. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say there is a reason for me to believe that I did anything wrong by talking up there because mm -hmm. of the response I'm getting is mostly positive. Yeah. A lot of people are reaching out. Yeah. Especially men. Yeah. They need some sort of guidance or mm -hmm. help. And one reason I'm seeing that being the case is that we don't have many or defined safe spaces, spaces. for yes. men to talk. Yeah. Well. If we just guarantee men they have a safe space to talk, mm. so when somebody comes out there on a podium and talks about issues that affect them, they will reach out to you, like what is happening right mm -hmm. now. I'm getting a lot of, I'm not a psychologist, I'm yeah. not a counselor, I'm not yeah. a therapist, mm -hmm. but I'm getting a lot of... And I don't, I don't, I'm enjoying it. I, I'm, 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 I'm happy to see that reaction mm. because now I can give them what I feel will be uh, guidance. If I can't, if that can't help me, I'll refer you to somebody who's a professional, yes. either a psychologist or a therapist, yeah. to guide you, mm -hmm. which I'm already doing okay. with a couple of people. And it's amazing. This morning, I've, I just had a, like a two-hour session with some a friend wow, yeah. who called me and said, Eddie, I'm giving up. He Must be me overwhelming yeah. for you as well. It is. Because like you but say, you're, you're not a therapist. It is not taking anything away from me. That's what I was going to ask. It is not taking yes. anything away from me. Yeah. If I can help you with, I will give you solutions. Yeah. I will just tell you, this is what you might need to do. This is what might be your next step. Either you need to see a counselor. I'm um, getting also feedback from ladies oh, asking, yeah me to help their husbands because they feel the husband does not want to be helped. Right. Now that one you have to be a bit careful because yeah. again, I can't start engaging somebody yeah. who yo, may not yo, want or is exactly. not ready yeah. to be helped. So this is a... Yeah, exactly. So, 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 so this, 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 those are the kind of reactions I'm getting. Mm. So I'm just trying to handle them as, as uh, positively and um, logically as possible as I can. And be able to, because I can't. I, I'm not in a position to turn you away. I can't help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's a situation that I feel I relate to, and I think I might help by giving you a word or two that might just help, then mm -hmm. I will do it. Yeah, design. Could I mention to you, Doctor Von? Um, as the dynamics may change. Yes. Uh, screen it. Go number one. Um, our liagi, our bongagi, our open up for the easy back then the size. But my question is, mm -hmm. do you think it's harder now? being a man compared to those days when our fathers and grandfathers lived especially for Good the uh, young this generation that we're calling the millennials mm -hmm. is eco challenge the dynamics i mean by we are now bombarded by this whole um internet and digital like what time like what time yet we put a combi Umekosea, yeah. ni street. Woko, war. Yeah, it's it's war. Right now, there's so much pressure in terms of where they're getting information from mm. that it might not be just one channel to to for you to pick up information. There's so much information they're getting from everywhere, and that's what I'm calling dynamics. How we were brought up then, dads were much more, you know, mm. hands on, uh, hands on. Yeah. Um, and also, it's just a generational change that has come up that is making it very difficult for even boys to even mm -hmm. be able to to, to 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 learn what it is to really be a man mm -hmm. because of what is out there. Mm -hmm. Also the other aspect about um, um, mm -hmm. the girl child being um, uh, too empowered and I don't think there's anything like too empowered. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're being empowered but yeah. I think also the boy child also has been forgotten a little bit. Right. Yeah, so there's that aspect also that is making, the, making it a challenge for for boys to to, you know, graduate yeah. into, into manhood. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. okay. You've told us about your story, you've told us about 
you know, the sort of outpouring of support and even people needing help. What's what's next for you? And and I guess before we even get to that, how are you doing now? Uh, as I mentioned before, when you're off mic, yeah. the worst is in the past. Oh. I'm now more better equipped and much more um, insightful about to deal with my life. Mm -hmm. I know how to handle my problems. And I'm not saying because I went up and engaged and talked that I sorted out my problems. I'm still a human being. I'm still a man. And I still go through the day-to-day -day ups and downs. It's just that now I'm better equipped to deal with what I did. And what, what are those things through. you were doing behind Engage? Because I guess we all think, oh, well, he went on Engage yeah. and now he's good. But now what are those things that you did behind mm -hmm. the scenes mm -hmm. to get you to where you are now? Because I, I don't imagine it was just that nine minutes no, and then no, now, you know, wasn't. snap out. All that yeah. nine minutes did was yeah. me sharing and mm -hmm. making making another man think about where he is in his life mm -hmm. by sharing my story. We're all reflections of each other. Yeah. And if I hear your story and I feel I'm going through the same thing, there's some peace you get when you realize, wow, I thought I was alone. I'm not, my, I'm not saying that my story is special. Mm -hmm. The people who are going through tougher times and crazier clouds, dark clouds, than I did. But now for me, I realized forgiveness is one key thing. I had to forgive myself. I had to ask for forgiveness from my wife, from my family. I had to, of course, um, approach God in a different way because yeah. we cannot talk about straightening up your life without involving God. All right. You know? And that really has helped me a lot, uh, being closer to Him. <coughs> and also what has helped me a lot is understanding that it's my kids who need me more yeah. than the other way around. Oh. And one of the best gifts, and I keep on saying this, is to make my kids realize that when you fail, it's possible to stand up again and move. It's a gift I'd like to give them every day mm -hmm. because they are growing. They're boys, yeah. but I'd like also them to, to, to see that it's possible to be an upright man mm -hmm. and be a man who's respected in the society and just be really uh, embody what a real man is all about. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have that responsibility now as a father. And I've dedicated my life now to do that. To them. Dudley, and it is helping a lot of men out there. <clears throat> For instance, Peter and Jeroge Mwanje on Twitter says, I have seen this show on Engage and was very encouraged to always share my problems and seek for help. Okay. And then George King uh, Gustavo says, I appreciate the discussion in the studio and agree that more safe spaces for men should be created. Okay. Boys need massive mentoring and role modeling. And then uh, uh, Jaroge Jr. indicates that uh, I'm totally tuned. I have worked with Eddie when he was uh, the communications boss for the former Nakuru governor. And I was shocked at first when I heard the news of Eddie Kimani. Mm. All right. Thanks. So I think what's the one of embrace you aspect you're quite vulnerable now, nah, yeah. it's really kind of that. And that failure is not... It's part the of the process. It's part of the process. It's actually, it's the one of the key ingredients yeah. for success. success. You just need to make failure your ally. You okay. just need to make failure. Don't hate it. Your design. Stand up, dust yourself, and move, yes. and move on. So, Eddie, um, yes. what's next? What's next is to... Uh, I, I'm trying as much as possible to facilitate and create safe spaces for men to talk. And by that, um, I mean by attending uh, or creating um, gatherings where we could have men open up with the confidence that this space is safe for them to talk. It could be breakfast meetings, it could be um, you know, uh, or workshops, it could be forums. Mm -hmm. But one thing that um, I and a, a number of about uh, five other people who are concerned about that conversation also, and it also includes women by the way, mm -hmm. we are putting together a men's mm -hmm. expo, okay. a men's, it's not, a men's to be, to, not to be confused, yeah. <laughs> uh, men's uh, yeah. but yes it will include <coughs> a conference scenario also right. for three days in August okay. that will bring together uh, men to start that to, to carry on that conversation. Yeah. We're not waiting until then, August, but we are doing it now. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's what I'm getting involved in, and uh, the, the event should be happening in August uh, at the KICC. 
uh, we've got some good leads in terms of people who want to come on board and be part of it. When we're asking for more support, mm -hmm. we'll be sharing more information about our social media presence so mm -hmm. that we can have more people engaging. It's just to create a forum where we'll talk more about the development and the well-being of a man. Yeah. And we'll bring in various stakeholders in in various sectors who either have products or services, including talking about mental illness. Mm. And as you may know, the conversation about the depression uh, issue is really, really, really hot right now. Mm. And we just feel it needs to be part of that conversation mm. and help you to understand it more better. Because mm. it's one of the best documented illnesses, yeah. depression that is, but the least talked about. Okay. Yeah, it's really documented very, it's one of the best documented uh, illnesses <coughs> out there, but the conversation is not big enough to make people realize this is what you need to do. These are the solutions out there to deal with depression, with mental illnesses. Yeah. You know, and not only affect the men, yeah. also uh, the women. So it's supposed to be three days of just creating an environment where men will come and engage from both economic uh, for us, uh, development issues, empowering uh, men, the boy child. We also have conversations about helping the boy child understand his role as you know, as he grows up to become a man. So three days, there will be a conference for it and also an expo that will create that conversation and hopefully it might even pick up, because this a conversation is not only within Kenya, it should be, it's a global it issue. Is. Yeah, so it we is. need to have that conversation at that stage and at that level also in our country. Hopefully, okay. uh, we would like also the government to be part of it, that yeah. they can also use their, uh, you know, their position as the government to try and also address some mm. of these issues that are really crucial, uh, especially for the boy child. Okay. Yeah. Wase waki lenga, waki assume, waki, waki puuza, easy developments, na struggles, and wanaume wana go through. To na risk nini going forward, especially when it comes to the kind of men that we will be raised. We will continue having broken men. We will continue having broken men. Uh, men were not ready to... Because I also believe that men will become so numb in struggling to to keep that status, that you're a man, yeah. you don't need to cry. So we've, we have, we've gone numb, that we're not able to show feelings because we've been told by the society that a man is not supposed to cry, a man is not supposed to say when he's down, a man is not supposed to reach out and mm. look for help. So you can imagine how the future would look like when a man or the man is put in that box. Uh -huh. So we just need to create that conversation and it should be going on. This is a long term thing. It's not, uh, it doesn't have a sell by date. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. And being a third screen as we wind up, Eddie, do yes. you think there's also a room in our theaters uh, when it comes to our productions to also come up uh, with storylines around yes. these issues? Mm -hmm. Yes. I believe it's one of the best, even back in the days, in the, the back, I'm talking about years back, the theatre was used to communicate stories about the societies. It was not just used for entertainment. It was used to be the mirror of the society. And yes, we've got great scriptwriters out there, we've got great producers, we've got great uh, actors out there. And I believe it's also one of the platforms that can be used to drive that message and the conversation, the male conversation out there. There is, there is a lot of potential. It's just a matter of getting together and, and realizing, yes, this is what uh, we need to put together as a story, as a conversation, and put it in a, a package it and put it on TV, put it on theater, put yeah. it on YouTube. Social media right now is yeah. one of the most powerful tools when it comes to getting through to people and mm. passing on and dealing up with issues that are out there in the public. Your design. That's right. So are you coming back to media? Come on. I'm still involved Come in media on. in my own way. Yeah. Um, a lot of consultancy. Yeah. yeah. I can't run away from that. After more than 15 years in it, yes. I can't. But I'm involved in one or two things, okay. both production-wise, TV, radio. Come it's, back to yeah. it, it's 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 um it's uh, it's one of those things you can't really shake off. That's true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's What's up, Kuri Chedi? How do you get a hold of you? Facebook, Twitter, EWDY, Kimani. Those are the names I use. You can reach me there. My message option is open. You can write to me. I'm getting a lot of messages. Mm -hmm. I'm glad a lot of people are reaching out. The ones I'm able to help, I'm, 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 I'm connecting to them. And yeah, the, the conversation is what is my biggest priority right now. Mm -hmm. Just to, mm -hmm. just to get 
it going. And again, not forgetting that the women also can play a part in this conversation. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's great to see women being empowered. And mm. you've done a fantastic job. But when I met the video to to vote the socks, to say you, not to say you, but to say Diana, when is that say Diana? Atuna, where is that say Diana? Amna, 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 the media also needs to help. Yeah, yeah. And the messaging they're getting out there. Yeah. And I know bad things do happen, yeah. but unfortunately, most of the bad things happening are pinned on men. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, so also the messaging out there about men, mm -hmm. and I know that men out there were doing really great things. Yeah. And if they just covered, and the narrative is also channeled toward uh, showing what good men are doing out there, because it becomes a situation where the society gets. You know, yeah. with a point of view that men are really, really bad. Mm. Unfortunately, a few rotten potatoes. Yeah. Is it potatoes? Where's the name? Apples. Yeah, potatoes. Apples. Yeah, potatoes. It's, it's, apples. It's, it's apples. Ah, potatoes. Ah, yeah. that's some macchio. So now, but no, wait, wait. When you when you taught apples me, apples are zero for good. Let me ask you. When you taught me, mm. Shane. See, I accepted the lesson. Yeah. So some kifunzo kizungu sepia we uskize. So ni rotten mini. Apples. Potatoes. <laughs> Meanwhile, my lesson carries on. What was the next one? Because we're giving cash. <laughs> Well, guess what? <laughs> now, where is my piece of it? Who took my notes from studio? Thank you. That was you. Uh -huh. Listen, Eddie, let, mm -hmm. let, thank you. Thank you, for thank you for coming. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. It's a good thing that um, you've seen it as a, an important uh, topic to, to yeah. engage in. Mm -hmm. And the more of this, the more men will open up yeah. and see that it's not only them, men, men who are suffering out there yeah. in silence, but because, again, it's been molded. Right. Into their psyche. Yes. Don't show your feelings. Yeah. Don't be vulnerable. Yeah. My parting words, men, it's good to be weak. It's good to fail. Because you can still stand up and try again. And it's okay not to be okay. Yes, it's yeah. not okay. Yeah. To Thank keep, you. Keep quiet. That to is, keep quiet, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. E double D Kimani. That's why, at why, why. Eddie E double D Y Kimani. Kimani. Yeah. At Eddie Kimani. That's on Twitter, on Facebook. Oh. He's also open uh, you know, his messages. Uh, so please uh, go in there if you feel like you really need some help and, and good luck with uh, whatever you're putting together in August. Awesome. We wish you all the best and let us know. Yes, we'll be know, talking so about we can find, still yeah. informative Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's still Great. coming up. We wish you good all the best for that. Yeah. 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 And we'd we'll be happy to, to yeah. support you yeah. where we can. 20 kgs here at Yeah. <laughs> 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 The fact that we're bonga, look at some convertible in a one shot. Thank you. Eddie Kimani, right here on hashtag Hot96 Drive. Um, we thank you very much for coming in. Join the world of View Sasa Entertainment and enjoy the videos you love. SMS the word View Sasa to 40984. View Sasa, connecting you to the videos you love. Pop, pop, is showtime. 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 On the hot drive.